How you doing everybody? So today we're going to be making a uh, just like a tuna salad or you can actually put this tuna spread, you can put it on toast if you want to. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in uh, some romaine lettuce and I'll just show you real quick what I'm going to do. Get the, uh, I like to get the albacore tuna. It looks like tuna. Uh, some of the tuna out there, uh, the cheaper brands, they got a lot of soy in there and I'm not a big fan of the soy. but. Uh, yeah, try out the albacore. Um, it looks like tuna. And this is drained. And if I, if I add liquid to this mix, it gets to be a little bit soupier. And I'm not too happy about the soupiness of something that I'm gonna eat. And then what we got is we got some celery. Just, you know, like a stock of celery. Throw that bugger in there. We have a medium pickle. Put that in there, chopped up nice. And we have a half of a, of a medium onion, white onion. We're gonna mix that up a little bit. Okay, you gotta kind of break up this, uh, this lumps of tuna in there. And the prep time on this, just to prep the, uh, the cutting and stuff, took me about four minutes. Did not take me long at all to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in some light Miracle Whip. I'm going to add a spoonful of that in, a tablespoon. I'm going to add about another half of a tablespoon in there. And I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of the Greek yogurt. This is a plain Greek yogurt. Don't have no flavors in it at all. Kind of gives it a little bit of a uh, a nice uh, kind of a tangy texture to it. And mix this all up, and you can add as little as much or as much as you want. Or heck, if you just want to eat the can of tuna, be all mean, just eat the can of tuna. But I like to have a little bit of uh, flavor in the food that I'm eating. And I'm gonna go grab my pepper. Some uh, ground pepper I'm going to put in there. I'm not going to add no salt because I'm getting the salt from the pickle. And I'm getting some salt from the uh, from the Miracle Whip that I put in there. And there you go. A nice little uh, tuna salad or tuna sandwich. You can put this on bread. If you wanted to, you could actually uh, even uh, chop up a uh, finely chopped now. Finally chop up a, uh, a cup of spinach and put that in there. And so what we're going to do here, I'm just going to place this right into my leaves, my romaine, le my romaine lettuce leaves. And there you go. Probably put about half of that or Probably about 30% of what I had in the, in the bowl here. I put into my romaine laid, lettuce leaves. I fold that up. And it's almost like a pita, but with lettuce. So very, very delicious. Uh, you can use bread, like I said, if you want to. You can use Ezekiel bread or whatever bread you choose. But uh, today, that's what I'm going to eat it on, less like that. And uh, I'm not a very big bread eater. Um, Anyways, I like to eat my bread pretty much with uh, spaghetti and things like that, but I'm not a very big bread eater uh, anyway. So that's about it, guys. Uh, quick and easy uh, tuna spread, tuna salad, tuna sandwich, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, I eat this quite a bit. I actually really enjoy it. I'll put in the descriptions uh, what the nutritional values are. And as you can see over here, I'll pick up my camera. Here is uh, this romaine lettuce hearts, and that's what we that's what we buy. And then we got some beans that we're soaking. We soaked overnight for uh, some soup, uh, homemade soup we're gonna make tonight. I'm not sure what she's gonna make. And then back here, she made some uh, some raisin cookies, some homemade raisin cookies. Try to do everything homemade. You really get to have some great flavors instead of going out to eat and uh, going fast food. But that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Have a great uh, day. Uh, be safe and until next time.